everybody, Sari Cohen here at the Los Angeles premiere of Amazon Studios Troop Zero, starring Oscar winners Viola Davis and Allison Janney. Get ready to take a first look. I am Christmas Flint, human female. I think you'd like me. I think you'd want to be my friend. Dad? I think I could be part alien. I sure as heck hope not. I worry about you, Christmas. Good afternoon, birdies. Who's excited for Jamboree? There's something special this year, an opportunity to be a part of science. This is Dr. Prasad, all the way from NASA. We are putting together a record of life to launch into space. We will be recording people at the Jamboree. Raise your hands if you like to think about outer space. They're girls. Want to be Birdie Scout? Want to go to Jamboree? Jamboree is a talent show? Is that you or is trash you? <laughs> Joseph, I want to be Birdies. I'm not a girl. There's nothing in the whole book that says you have to be. To make a troop, we need a minimum of four scouts. <laughs> you know I ain't your friend, right? Yeah, I know that. Smash gets to come too. <laughs> want to help the most poor, struggling fools of the earth? Yes! Miss Raylene, are you latest to glory? You just setting yourself up for your little heart to get broke. No, set myself up to change my whole life. Miss Massey's played by me, so I had to bring some of my experience to her. And me being so impossibly tall growing up, uh, it was hard for me. I felt, I felt a little on the outside, and I felt like a little bit of a freak. And um, and I think um, she, in her own way, in her misguided way, was trying to protect Christmas and her ragtag group of friends from being humiliated or embarrassed and I think she learned the lesson in the end that they they're just as deserving as following their dreams as anybody else and they're they're just as strong and powerful and and I think I think that's what she learns in the end that she should let them be themselves and and embrace that I really just got to embrace a lot of myself and completely embrace my weird side, but well, <laughs> what's a weird side with me? I mean, I'm just a really odd person, but it's great because I got to really embrace myself in this role and I got to add a lot of new aspects and I got to just completely be myself around these wonderful people that I knew wouldn't judge me. <laughs> oh, I love Miss Allison because she is so talented. And I, I, I loved getting to work with her. I love getting to work with her, and I hope that we get to do more films. She's everything. She's all of those things you really know she is, which is vulnerable, heartfelt, but also body and loud and intelligent. And ever since we did the help together, I've loved that woman. And um, I'll probably love her forever, you know? surrounded by a lot of women. Yes. Tell me what that was like stepping onto set. Well, you know, I I didn't even think of that, but I had ended up being in a couple movies in a row that were directed by women and the leads were women, so it didn't really um, it wasn't something I was conscious of because I'm such a great guy, but uh, yeah, no, it was yeah, no, there is, I, like, I did this Broadway play where it was all men, and you can feel, like, you need the presence of the finer gender. Do you know what I mean? And so, uh, but, yeah, no, it was it was a great feel, because it's not just also um, uh, women, it was also girls. Do you know what I mean? And so there was some exi something exciting, and also you could sense that they were having a special time that they're going to remember. I just want to get from you, if there is one ultimate message that people should take away after watching this, what would it be? We talk about finding your place in the universe and that really means letting your freak flag fly and finding those people who celebrate you being uniquely you. There's power in that. Yeah. I felt like you spoke to women and, and girls of all ages, and I'm sure you taught them a lot of things, the kids on set, but what were some of the things that they taught you? You know what, what they taught me was, you know, I always say I go back to the child in me and I try to heal her, and I try to tell her that she's just okay. And I think that's what they taught me. 
You know, they taught me to look back even at myself as a child and look at myself in a completely different light. You know, I know a lot of people have a lot of criticisms of the millennials and the young kids today, but I learn a lot from them. I really do. I think that, you know, back then I, I was very hard on myself. And these kids, they're smart. <laughs> and that's it from the premiere of Troop Zero. I'm Sari Cohen. Thanks for watching. They can't be birdies. Birdies have a strict quality code. My boos are quality. Well, the only number left in the state of Georgia is zero. So welcome, Troop Zero. We all got to win one badge each to go to Jamboree. Buy my cookies so I can be a woman of substance. Have fun and puke, Miss Rayleigh. Don't puke before you get the money, boo. Y'all suck at being girls. We ain't got nobody to show us how to be better. Be that one for us. But Jesus. What kind of world would it be if every strange little girl thought she could just do whatever she wanted? This is what God gave me to work with, and I'm going to make it beautiful because it's mine. Well, we look forward to seeing what you little girls are made of. Uh-huh, what is it, Angel? We're made of organs and tissues. <laughs> Let's fall out. Life comes at you hard, you sit at home fire. Don't do nothing half-ass. I don't want to do anything with half an ass. Ah!